Welcome everyone to the first ever YouTube Investors Stock Draft for 2018. I'm super excited about this because it's been in the works for a long time and I think you guys will really enjoy it. My goals with the Stock Draft Challenge are threefold. First, I want to bring the YouTube investor community closer together and I think an interactive challenge like this is a great way to achieve that. Second, I wanted to create something really fun and unique for the investor community that hasn't really been done before and I think you guys will enjoy this just as much as we will. And third, I wanted to make something that'd be a valuable learning opportunity for both new investors and experienced investors as well. So without further ado, let's bring out our 2018 stock draft contestants. First on the list is yours truly, Michael J. But we also have some incredible collaborators with us. The first is fellow YouTuber investor Jake Jones, whose channel covers investing, finance, and entrepreneurship. And the third contestant is Chase, who runs the Intelligent Money Investing channel. Now, I'm super excited to have both these creators with me in this competition. If you haven't seen their channels, definitely check them out. I'll have their links in the description below. Now, there are a lot of naysayers who often say that picking individual stocks is a fool's errand and that a monkey throwing darts at the stock section of a newspaper can do a better job than most investors. Well, to put that to the test, I brought on the best monkey we could find. Please welcome Winston from the Overwatch team. Thanks. Hi there. Hi there. In addition to the four contestants who will participate in the stock draft, I also have two additional individuals who will take part. The first is the Oracle of Omaha himself, Warren Buffett. Now for Warren Buffett's portfolio, I'm not going to track his actual stock holdings, but his portfolio will be represented by a 100% share in his company, Berkshire Hathaway. I'm also bringing onto the team John Bogle, founder of Vanguard and a champion for individual investors and index investing. Bogle's portfolio will be made up entirely of the Vanguard Total Stock Market Index, which very closely tracks the S&P 500. For reference, you can think of this as the market. Determinations as to whether our portfolios beat or lag the market will be made in comparison to Bogle's portfolio. So there you have our wonderful contestants. Let's get down to the rules. So here's how the rules for the 2018 stock draft are going to work. Investors are going to create an evenly weighted portfolio of five stocks, so 20% allocation to each stock. Investors will take turns over five rounds to pick the stocks of their choice. Once a stock is picked, it is off limits and unavailable for other investors, and stocks will be limited to those available on the Robinhood app. Additionally, for simplicity, dividends earned during the stock challenge will not be reinvested and cash balances will not earn interest. The stock draft challenge will last until December 31st, 2018 at the end of the year. At that time, the investor with the highest total return will win. There will also be an additional award for the investor who had the best risk adjusted return. We haven't determined the metric we'll use for determining that, but we'll let you know when we do. Now, I haven't let Jake or Chase know this yet, but if either of them manages to be the top dog and have the highest return at the end of the year, I will give them $25. I know it's not much right now, but I think this is going to be the start of something really special for the YouTube investor community. Because at the start of next year, 2019, I'm hoping to expand this challenge tremendously. Man, I'm super excited. Let's begin the draft. And make sure you guys stick around for the end because I've spent a lot of time building some really cool tools for you to see. The way the draft order was selected was by smallest channel first. Since Winston does not have a channel, he will start the draft with our first pick. For context, the way Winston will be picking his stocks is he will be picking randomly from a list of the 100 largest U.S. stocks by market capitalization. And the first stock picked in the 2018 stock draft is PepsiCo going to Winston's portfolio. I'm up next and the stock I pick is CVS. As covered in my Stocks to Watch July video, I like CVS for its low valuations and potential for growth with its Aetna merger. Next in our first round of stock picks is Chase, who selects Apple. So I had Chase and Jake send me some short reasons why they picked their stocks. And Chase said on Apple that he sees their ecosystem extremely strong and he doesn't see a major competitor bringing them down soon. While iPhone sales may slow, they have other services that should more than compensate for it. And for the final pick of round one, Jake Jones picks Amazon. Jake says, quote, Amazon is the best and safest growth stock in the market. All right, we're on to round two, and Winston, to begin the first pick of round two, selects Alphabet, formerly known as Google, which leaves me to my pick, Cardinal Health. Also covered in my July monthly stock series, 
Cardinal Health is a consistent dividend player that's trading at historically low valuations and high dividend yield. I forgot to mention, but the price charts being shown for all the stocks are one-year price charts. With that, Chase's next pick in the draft is AbbVie. Now this was actually Chase's third pick. His second pick was actually Amazon, but Jake beat him to it. I guess it's only fair because Jake's first pick was Apple. Either way, Chase sees this as a great stock with a significant dip from its 52 week high, a great dividend that's growing fast. And to finish off the round, Jake picks Microsoft, who he says is an absolute tech monster who has first round potential, is currently crushing it in cloud and AI, as well as already having some well-established profit streams. Almost halfway done, we're back to round three with Winston, who picks Disney. I must say, for a random portfolio, Winston's isn't looking too bad. Don't get me angry. This leads me to my third round pick, GameStop. By now, you guys already know I'm a big fan of GameStop stock. Despite the recent run-up, I still think there's potential upside if they can successfully negotiate a private equity deal. For his third pick, Chase initially wanted Microsoft, but he'll have to settle for his fourth pick, which is the Vanguard S&P Small Cap 600 ETF. Chase covers a lot of ETFs on his channel, so this is what he said of his pick. Small cap stocks that aren't as global is a way to protect yourself from potential downside that large cap stocks have when tough tariff and trade negotiations are going on. And for his final pick of round three, Jake initially wanted Google, but since Winston took that, he'll have to settle for Facebook. Sorry about that. Jake is very bullish on Facebook, saying that Facebook hasn't even gotten past the tip of the iceberg in terms of monetizing online. And we're back with Winston to round four, where he will pick Altria. For those that don't know, Altria is a cigarette company in the United States. Which leads me to my pick for round four, Viacom. Again, one of the stocks I was covering in July, Viacom is trading at a rock bottom PE and may eventually be consolidated into another media company, but it still has the cash flow to support itself on its own. For round four, Chase picks another index fund in the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. Chase loves the rock bottom expense ratio and says that this is a staple of his personal portfolio. And for round four, Jake selects Square. Square is a payment processing company and Jake says of it, Jack Dorsey and financial services is a quote, definite win. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I have. Hard to believe we're already on round five. And for that, Winston picks EOG Resources. EOG Resources is a crude oil and natural gas exploration company. And my final stock pick is Newell Brands. Now Newell Brands is a stock I hold in my public portfolio and currently there's a turnaround plan in action by activist investors to unlock shareholder value through deleveraging and initiating a large share buyback. And Chase's final pick, again another ETF, is Invesco S&P 500 high dividend, low volatility ETF. Chase notes that this does have a higher expense ratio of 0.3%, but also stated that it has a lot of real estate exposure, which he personally believes could be beneficial in a market that's run up pretty fast lately. And Jake, to round off the final pick of the stock draft of 2018, picks Boeing. Jake said this of Boeing, Aerospace defense has performed great since the last presidential election, and with a proposal of, quote, a space army, Boeing will be on top. All right, well, that was a super exciting. Don't go away yet. There's a lot of cool tools I'm gonna to show you, but here is the portfolios of everyone's stocks all laid out together. As you can see, each of these stocks for the four participants who did participate in the draft are given a 20% split on each of them. To achieve this, we did use fractional shares, but that's not an issue for this simulation. So now let me show you guys these tools that I built. Super excited. They're really nice, and I think you guys will enjoy looking at them. In fact, I'll put a link in the description to the live stock tracker portfolio where you can see all this and interact with it yourself. All right, so here are the tools. I'm super excited. I know I've said that too many times, but I've spent at least like four hours building these for you guys. Let's check them out. Fair note, I'm using fabricated data right now just to illustrate how it works, just since it's the first day and we don't have any real data yet. But in the link in the description, when you see it live update over time, it'll be using real data. So on the first tab, stock portfolios, I have basically an overview of each investor's portfolio. It'll update real time on this page and you'll be able to see also the historical performance over time compared to the other portfolios. In addition to that, you'll be able to see the individual components, and how they're performing visually, as well as you can see that in the tables here on the side. Right now, all the portfolios are fully invested, but any dividends that are received during this time will be moved into cash and be left there for the remainder of the challenge. So you can see my portfolio, Chase's portfolio, Jake's, 
Winston's portfolio, which actually turned out you know pretty well for a random portfolio, uh, Warren Buffett's all Berkshire Hathaway portfolio, and then uh, Bogle's uh, pretty much S&P 500 market, total market index portfolio. So as more times passes, I think these graphs will be quite interesting and visually appealing to see, uh, particularly which periods some portfolios did well, which periods some portfolios did not do well, and compare that to each other. Now the next tab, daily portfolio values, is basically the behind the scenes data that's used to populate the charts, graphics, visualizations, and statistics uh, for the other tabs. So you can check this out if you want. This is a good way to see sort of the historical values, but you may be able to get more information visually from the other tabs. So I like this tab a lot. This is one calling my live dashboard. So basically this will update live every day. So if you check this, come back to this video uh, and click the link to see this, you'll see exactly where each of our portfolios stand uh, at the current time. As of this recording, the challenge hasn't started, but by the time you check in, you should be seeing these update live. We've got our leaders, one, two, three. In addition, we've got some portfolio metrics here, including uh, the portfolio all-time high, portfolio all-time low, total dividends that the portfolio has brought in, uh, portfolio's best day, portfolio's single worst day, and then in terms of the return, I'll have the return broken down by capital gains return. So that's return from price appreciation of a stock, and then also return from dividends. So payments that the company makes to you. I think this will be good for, although this challenge is only for the remainder of the year, so six months basically, it'll be good to see from a set of different portfolios, how much of that return comes from dividends and how much of it comes from capital gains. And so it sort of gives you a little perspective over time uh, of what that is really like in real time. So you'll be able to see that visually down in this lower right-hand graph of what the returns are from capital gains versus dividend gains. And this middle graph here, this shows the portfolio ranking. So basically the higher, the better. So whoever's on top in that top is currently in the lead. So you'll be able to see historically lead changes of whoever's on top versus whoever moves up into the top spot and see if you know someone's been there for a long time or just use this as a quick visual way to see you know who's moving, who's changing in terms of their ranking on the portfolio. And then finally on the left is basically just the price over time of each portfolio uh, all together and then also with just the YouTubers only so if you wanna keep it a little more simple. But this is basically a combination of all the graphs you saw on the first tab put into one for a quick visual reference. Right now these uh, have an x-axis or time length of about one month, but as we have more data, I'll extend that for the future. Now, part of the reason why I spent so much time making these tools is I wanted to be fun and interactive, not only for us as creators and participants in the challenge, but as you guys as well to track us and sort of keep us accountable of how our portfolios are performing. I'm already really excited for 2019. I think this is gonna be super big, so I can't thank you guys enough for your support. Definitely check out Jake and Chase's channels below, and if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, definitely do so. We'll have a lot of great content coming up. I'm actually gonna be out of town until Friday, so I'm bummed I can't reply to your comments right away until then, but let me know what you guys think of this challenge. Who do you think's gonna win? Either total return or best risk adjusted. I can't wait to read your thoughts. Until then, have a fantastic week. It's nice to feel appreciated. Thank you.